If you're listening to this, you obviously like podcasts, and you probably like music too. On Spotify, you can listen to all that in one place for free, and you don't need a premium account. Spotify has a huge catalog of podcasts on every topic, including the one you're listening to right now. On Spotify, you can follow your favorite podcast so you never miss an episode. Download episodes to listen offline, wherever you are. Easily share what you're listening to with your friends via Spotify's integrations with social platforms like Instagram. Just search for the e-commerce minute on the Spotify app or browse podcasts in your library tab. And follow us so you never miss an episode of the e-commerce minute. Spotify is the world's leading music streaming service, and now it's your go-to for podcasts. It's the e-commerce minute, your daily dose of e-commerce tech and retail news, with your hosts Bart Moraz and John Suter. The e-commerce minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. This episode of the e-commerce minute is brought to you by Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. With Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes, it's just click send and save for as low as four dollars ninety nine cents a month. Send envelopes, flats, and packages right from your desk, and you're back in business in no time. And for being a loyal e-commerce minute listener, you'll receive a free thirty day trial to get started and a free ten pound scale to ensure that you'll never overpay. Save time and money on mailing and shipping with Send Pro Online. Starting at four dollars ninety nine cents a month, you can qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping. Calculate exact postage online and print labels right from your PC. So go to pb.com slash minute to access this special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. It's e-commerce minute episode 540. In today's episode, Target partners with Disney for in-store Disney shops. Target and Disney have recently announced a new partnership that will allow customers to buy Disney products right at its stores. The new Disney's Shop in Shop experience will be located in 25 Target locations beginning in October. They also said there will be 40 stores more opening by October 2020. The 750-square-foot Disney mini stores are set to launch in cities such as Philly, Denver, and Chicago. The new offerings include a variety of merchandise from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars, including collectibles. Target is specifically timing the October opening for when Disney's Frozen 2 and Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker lines hit store shelves. Disney also said that the Shop and Shop would feature more than 450 items from the company, including more than 100 products previously only available at its standalone locations. Prices will range from $2 to $200 for items, but most items will be priced under $20. There will also be seating areas in the teeny shops for the families to sit listen to Disney music, and watch Disney movie clips or take photos in front of the interactive display. Oh, that sounds wonderful. To expand on the power of this collab, Target will be opening a small format store right near the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. The collaboration will also be available in a new digital experience at target.com slash Disney store. The full site launches October 4th, but you can take an early peek right now. To us, this seems like a genius partnership, but the employees are not exactly thrilled about it due to the amount of Disney products that sits on the shelf years after launch, according to a recent thread on Reddit. One user says the products from the Incredibles 2 launch sat on Target shelves for years and years after the movie was released. With all that being said, this should be an interesting new partnership, and we're eager to keep our eyes on how it goes for the businesses, but the employees implementing the collab. It sounds like hell on earth, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm interested to see how this materializes. So they did that collab with Vineyard Vines. What's the other fashion brand they did the collab with? And people were waiting in line and like it totally sold out mm. last year. Was it like a sports brand? It's like American Doll. What was it American Doll? It was some girls' clothing line. Mm. Anyway. Mm. Anyway, so they do some of these collabs, and they seem to be quite successful. Uh, Target's been on quite a roll lately. And I'm looking at the rendering of the store. It looks actually pretty nice. I mean, mm-hmm. considering that they have to slice out a chunk of their, their store footage to do this, Disney must be paying them quite a bit of money because that's a lot of square footage just to give up for one line of products. And there's so many other chunks in Target's now, like Starbucks and Pizza Hut and what have you. Well, I think Target's being smart because they're doing they're they're merchandising their stores more like uh, what we said Macy's has been doing, where they're doing more experiential things. I think Target kind of sees that's that's the way customers want to be, and I I think we mentioned in a previous podcast that they're remodeling a lot of their stores. Um, so yeah, I think I think that they're smart doing this. The one thing I did see, <laughs> I'll send this to you. I put it in the, I put it in the chat room. Do they compare the Disney shops to J.C. Penney shops? So you think Target and J.C. Penney? Like, does you even know where a jc penny is anymore no mm. so the disney shop in jc penny is basically like a styrofoam sign 
with the word Disney cut out some wall <laughs> and some crap thrown on the thrown on the shelves. Oh jeez. So it's, <laughs> it's basically night and day. Ooh, yeah, those are hideous. But right. I feel like so, <laughs> you look at the photo, right? I don't know what that movie is, but then you look below and you see the beautiful target, the, like the beautiful. Well, that's mo- that's monsters. Monsters, uh, Monsters Inc. Right? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's all Monsters Inc. And then you look at this Target store, which is, looks like a little Apple store within, uh, you know, for Disney. Shiny and whatnot. Shiny, shiny and beautiful. <laughs> People are so mean to J.C. Penney. Like, did, how dare Disney come in and do that to J.C. Penney? Like, they, what did they do? Uh, a lot of, a lot of wrong things for a while. Yeah. Like that carpet. <laughs> like that carpet. <laughs> So Disney has had a partnership with JCPenney for the last six years, and they said that that partnership won't end. Um, but Target Small Disney Stores will feature Disney Store branding, and the JCPenney store is, um, for lack of a better word, lacks the experiential qualities that the Target store has. So it's really kind of a night and day thing. Right. And Target will also extend 5% savings with a red card on the Disney products, as well as same-day pickup and delivery and free two-day shipping options. So they're really going to hustle that Disney product, especially with all these new movies dropping. Um, I think this is going to be quite successful for them. Brittany, why don't you tell us about today's sponsor? Shipping and mailing from your desk has never been simpler than with SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. With SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes, it's just click, send, and save for as low as $4.99 a month. Send envelopes, flats, and packages right from your desk, and you're back to business in no time. And for being a loyal e-commerce minute listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started and a free 10-pound scale to ensure that you never overpay. So save time and money on mailing and shipping with ZenPro Online. Starting at $4.99 a month, you can also qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping, calculate exact postage online, and print labels and stamps right from your PC. So go to pb.com slash minute to access this special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of SemPro Online from Pitney Bowes. So here's an interesting little factoid. Uh, it was reported on CNBC by Bob Chapik, chairman of Disney Parks Experiences and Products. He said people who own Disney gear or visit Disney theme parks are also the most likely people who shop at Target. He said there's about a 90% overlap between the two companies' customers. So I guess they figured out the demographics and said there's a complete overlap. This now makes even more sense. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. This collab definitely is very smart. Yeah. You just yeah. smell the overlap. <laughs> just smell the overlap. I smell money. Uh, yeah, the, that's it. All right. Quick stat time. Target shares are now up more than 55% since last year to date. And when it reported the 2018 holiday results, Target said same store sales were up 5.7, but the toy category being one of the strongest. And I'm going to bet that is because of the closure of Toys R Us. You guys got anything to add to this one? Nope. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you at the Disney store tomorrow. <laughs> Not me. I won't go there. <laughs> That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe, or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion, or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>